Hi, this is Frank from Apple One to One. Today we're going to further expand on our invoicing and having lookups on your invoice. If you haven't seen our previous videos about using lookups, there'll be a link in the description below. First, we bring up our template and you'll notice that we have three tabs this time or three sheets. One is the actual invoice, services, the one I labeled services. We have a table one and a table two. These are going to be the services that you're going to select and their costs. Table two, if you had um, a discount that you wanted to apply, you could use this to do that. The third in a new table is going to be customers. So if you had a singular list of customers where it was somewhat limited, I don't know how many you want to have in this table, but you can experiment with it and see what you are comfortable with. On the invoice, we have one table here where we have a drop down box for our services either lawn or snow removal and you know where that is you go over to your cells and you can add in the pop-up menu you can add whatever services you like the second here is the services performed there's another pop-up and again if you look off to the right you can see the whole list of services that you can add or delete. Okay. Then over here is where we're going to have our lookup. So the lookup is going to be lookup C3, C3, which is in here. And then you're going to go to services. It's going to match it to this and it's going to pick up the cost from column B. So what's different? Well, what we've done this time is I've added another table. Instead of typing the customer's name, we've added a table with two columns. It's going to give you a customer number. This is how I'm going to be doing the lookup. Customer name, address, city, state, and zip. All right. So over here you'll notice we have a drop down so what you're going to do you're going to put all your customer numbers in this pop-up menu click on it select the customer number and you'll notice it automatically populates all of this information so you don't have to key it you only have to key it once so how does it do that go to customer you put in the customer number you can use any configuration that you feel is necessary I just created one column for uh, name first and last name or you could have separate columns one for first name one for last name their address the city the state and the zip pretty straightforward so how is it doing it the customer number is like I said the pop-up all right you're gonna select one down below the customer name address city state how is it getting that information okay so here's how it's getting the lookup so it's going to look up b1 b1 is our customer number and it's going to the customer sheet customer sheet column a so it's matching those two. So it's going to match the customer number. And again, just like the others, it's going to pick up the name and put the name in the name cell here. The address, same thing, except this time it's going to pick up the address. All right. In column B. So it's going to match the customer number, pick up the address from column C. city it's going to match the customer number and it's going to pick up the city and plop it in and so on and so forth so this is another way where you can add another table to your invoice so you can have multiple tables on the one sheet 
and you can do multiple lookups depending upon what you want to do. So over here, if you come down to the body of the invoice and you select I want snow removal, all right, so then you come over here and you say, all right, we got the uh, driveway. And second one, you got the uh, sidewalk and porch. And then again, like we did before, you slide down. You're going to get your errors, but you can quickly fix that by doing uh, another selection, puts it in, and calculates it down. Then to print, you're just going to do a control P. It's going to put it in here. Now notice this particular invoice is a little wider than I had anticipated. So all you do over here is you just click on fit. And it will fit it into an 8.5 by 11. And then you go ahead and print it. Okay. So I hope that helps. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Thank you very much. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.